Hi, welcome to this small unboxing and quick uh, testing. Well, today will be our, our receiver. In fact, it's not a um, Fear Sky project, official one, but uh, a do it project um, one. So, in fact, it's uh, uh, the fruits, the result of uh, works of uh, an RC Group's member. So, thanks to him, but uh, I'm afraid they have been. Uh, completely copied by a Chinese company and uh, now it's sold, uh, the result is sold in Banggood in different places. So this is a Fear Sky receiver, uh, three times uh, cheaper, so it's interesting, uh, than the uh, D4R2 for example. It's not offering the diversity uh, antenna but it's announced to be also very efficient. So uh, it's quite light. Um, as you can see, it scale uh, 5 gram.4. You have um, a plastic protecting the uh, the receiver, so if you remove it, you can probably save 0 0.2 or 0.3 grams. Uh, you have an antenna with uh, ending with the uh, micro FL uh, connector, so you can see that this is the 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna part or uh, maybe you can install a shorter one if you want and you have a, s a series of some pine inders so uh, you can find here the uh, sense of the nomenclature so the signal is the on the uh, bottom part of the uh, of the uh, connector and the ground is more on the upper part um, one word, you have a bind button here, so if you have some problems to access to it, uh, please uh, cut the uh, plastic there. And also you have here this small point, as you can see this is the reset bind because the good news, it's possible to update the firmware. Okay, you have to go to the RC groups to find the, the thread associated with and it's possible to flash some new variants. And for example, uh, we try to do a video, uh, you can uh, flash a new one offering the uh, uh, RSSI on, tele on telemetry as well the battery voltage, that's good. Uh, well, so the, I will show how to bind this um, receiver. Um, I've got a Devo uh, modded with uh, CC2500 to fly a free uh, the Sky protocol. So it's uh, pretty simple. Um, I will uh, connect first uh, this uh, uh, servo plug into uh, the uh, channel 4, okay, which is the, uh, uh, the basic CPPM uh, uh, channel. So if you want to use in CPPM mode, you have to link a signal uh, pine of channel 3 with channel 1, okay, you have to jump like this, and uh, this receiver will work in a CPPM mode. So, um, just to make a test of the binding, so I will connect this source, check that the uh, signal is on the top and the uh, ground on the bottom. Okay, I will use these uh, batteries like this. Okay, and um, to bind your uh, uh, receiver, you have to uh, press uh, the uh, bind button, pressed, so this is why it's important, uh, maybe you cannot see, okay, I will do like this, you have to press the button, start the receiver, you have a solid green light, start your controller, here a demo, okay, and I hope you can see, go to model menu, uh, model setup, and go to uh, a model with a Fear, Car, Fear Sky, okay, this is a D8 uh, uh, protocol of Fear Sky, and go to bind button, okay, and you press end, okay, and as you can see now it's flashing, mean it's bound, okay, you can release, turn off the radio, turn off the receiver, restart the receiver, okay, and now if I Turn on the radio, you will see immediately the LD become solid, green solid, so it means it's bound. So it's working perfectly. Um, now I will uh, probably do another part of the video. I will um, try to flash the new firmware, so you will need such kind of tools and USB ASP. Uh, okay, you, have, you can find the uh, last X file um, 
in the RC group thread and you need uh, to connect uh, six uh, pines so five of them are located on the uh, this pine leader you can find the plus 3.3 volt or plus 5 volts is accepting both voltage I think it's delivering plus 5 volt the ground I'm sure uh, you will find the MOSI and MISO and uh, it's 4 uh, there is a clock somewhere on the one of the signal channels every 10 I will indicate later and the 6 one which is reset is here so I will uh, solder a small pile like this directly on this pad in order to connect uh, some Dupont wire on this uh, USB ASP connector. Okay, uh, we show how to uh, well prepare the uh, uh, this receiver for uh, firmware update. So you will see that on this paper I wrote that the channel five. So you have to take um, so the channel one is on the top one here. Okay, so this is channel one. So the channel five is exactly this one. So in here is the uh, MOSI, channel 6 is MISO, channel 7 here is a clock, okay, and you will need uh, to find the, uh, to connect the VCC of one of these plus uh, pads and the, uh, re and the ground is uh, one of these minus, you can take any, any one you want, and the reset is located here, so uh, the first things I will do is to uh, 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 use a bit sizer to uh, open it a bit to will be more easy to to access. Okay, you get a small part like this to free the the. Uh, RST uh, connector, so you can. Uh, okay, it's okay like this. So be aware. You can cut more because you will be, the the iron will be not so far, so not to take any risk. Okay, so it should be okay like this. It's there is. For, for, have spaces I will use this small uh, connector like this I will remove the, the or cut it and I will install just the, uh, the extremity part to plug one of this uh, Dupont wire like this uh, I don't know uh, which color I will use uh, but something like this and I will connect connect it so well it's a choice and after uh, after the soldering job uh, I will start to connect Okay, I will start to prepare the soldering uh, job. There is one unique, it's not so complex to do. Um, so, it's great. Um, just need to add a small piece of yeah, and the current pad. Like this, okay. I uh, will solder the um, the small uh, piece of uh, Dupont trim, Dupont wire. So uh, where I will prepare the uh, to, okay. I will add the, the flux and okay. Then I will install it very easily. Okay, so now it's connected. You can remove it eventually. It's very uh, right. So uh, now I will connect everything. So I have a, a, a extremity. Um, now I will check the uh, color, so it's reset, reset is for me, will be the, uh, the orange, so I will use the, uh, the purple, so in order to be coherent. So I will explain now the color I will use. Ok, 
he and his son arranged like this. I will cut. Okay, so the most important, I will start the nomenclature. So uh, for me, the blue will be uh, meso. So meso for me is channel six. So channel six is here. Channel six is exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, like this. Um, the second is clock. Clock is uh, will be the uh, brown. The brown will be channel seven, like this. Um, reset is uh, purple. Purple, as I said, is a new one I just soldered. So I will connect like this. Okay. After I have. Um, On this side, the ground, the ground for me is tr is gray, and the ground I will plug in any uh, one. So let's say this one. Okay, ground. Um, after the uh, orange will be mozi. Mozi is the channel five. So like this, and finally the last should be uh, the. Power, so let's say business the uh, ground channel. Okay, oops, good. Well, okay, so it's done, it's connected like this, and now I, I will be able to, to use the USB ASP to flash. So I will show how which software to use right now. Okay, I will show how to uh, program. So it's plugged like this, ending with the USB ASP. And uh, I will connect uh, uh, to my uh, laptop, like this. So uh, then after I will run uh, Iver Dudes, it's working fine. Um, so I'm using Windows 8. One, so be sure to install correctly the USB ASP uh, driver for Windows uh, 8.1 uh, 64 bytes. So you need to select an, uh, um, a parameter, it's USB ASP at the end. Uh, the port will be uh, USB, and the MCU will be the at tiny at mega uh, 3 and. 328p okay and you have to select uh, the uh, program to flash which is uh, actually currently this one with RSSI X and telemetry so I select this X5 and now um, well it should be okay you just need to go to program and uh, okay and this seems to write you have a thank you verifying seems to be okay it's done so uh, perfect and now I will test the um, on the transmitter if I can receive some RSSI uh, values okay I reinstall my uh, receiver with the AC etc so I have to read after flashing I have to read on the uh, binding procedure but as soon as as uh, uh, power the uh, Receiver turning on the Devo. Uh, if I go to transmitter menus, uh, telemetry monitors, what you can see now, you have RSSI values fluctuating with the uh, distance. I'm not sure yet they are correct, but uh, it seems to work. Now I'm receiving the RSSI, so it's great. It's working fine. Uh, thank you.